So you can see by default that this Linksys Lynx, wireless router using Packet Tracer here is set to automatically pick up an IP address with DHCP on the WAN side and that's what the internet setup is. This is the WAN side. And, um, and normally that would be great if we were connected to a modem or connected directly to our ISP through let's say a uh, cable modem or a DSL modem or something like that. That would be fine. But we're not. So we're going to need to give it a static address. So we'll say static IP address and we'll give it the address that we want to give it. 192.168.1 in this case dot two and then the subnet mask right and we have to give it the gateway to talk to the router to get out of the network and the gateway is the router the Cisco router which is at 1.1 .1. And let's say that the Cisco router was also acting as our DNS, then we'd give it DNS too. Okay, so that's fine. So now we can scroll down and we can save this, we can save those settings, and that's not going to disconnect us from the wireless router because we've set the WAN side, right? We've set the WAN side, I'll hit continue, which is this side over here and this address right here but we haven't affected the LAN side and that's what we're going to do now when we affect the LAN side we're going to get disconnected but then hopefully we'll just reconnect so on the LAN side what we're going to do is we want to change and we scroll down that's the internet side the WAN side we scroll down to get to the network setup the LAN side and you can see on the private address the wireless router is set to 0 0.1 and we want to change that to 2.1 right and when we do that, it's going to automatically change the DHCP settings from us from zero network, from 192.168.0, notice we can't change that, to two. And when it does that, it'll change this and it'll default to 100, 2.100, maximum number of users 50, and we'll be handing out 2.100, let's say, to 2.150. But right now we can't change it, so don't be confused by that. Uh, we want the DHCP server to stay enabled, right? And and this should be fine once we click Save. This should change to 2. So what we'll do is we'll go down here, we'll click Save Settings, and then we'll scroll back up, and we have saved the settings here, right? But we're going to be disconnected. So request timeout, you can see that if we try to hit refresh, right, or go, we're not going to reach the um, wireless router. Why? Because this is 192.168.0.1. So what we need is we need to get a new IP address from the wireless router on its now two network that it's handing out. Let's see if we've picked one up yet. So what we'll do is we'll go to command prompt and we'll say IP config right and you can see that we've already picked up the new address at 2.100 so now we should be able to connect to it so we open the web browser again and we type in 192.168.2.1 and hit enter and once again we're given the screen and we can put in the default username and password and we're connected and if we scroll down now we see that those settings have now changed and the DHCP is now handing out the correct address range of 192.168.2.100 to 150 to 149 just like we wanted it to. Alright, so we've been able to change these settings, right? So now the settings have changed. So we can get rid of this that says out of the box defaults. We get rid of that. But we're still broadcasting the SSID of default, right? So that's one thing that's the same. The new address of the wireless router is 2.1 and the DHCP server is handing out addresses 2.100 to 2.149, right? So this is the wireless router. It's still doing that now. And now we've picked up an IP address automatically from it. We've picked up this address right here. So now that we fixed the the settings on the Linksys wireless router so we can connect on the two network we have to address a couple of other issues and that is security so what we want to do is we want to address the issue of wireless security 
and as I mentioned before the SSID or the service set identifier is what's used to connect to a wireless network right it's essentially the name of the wireless network right and you need the name to connect to it and right now our SSID is default which comes automatically with the Linksys wireless router so typically if you see that if you see the name default you would think hey this is a Linksys wireless router and and you know they haven't configured it so I can get in easy so we're gonna change the SSID to something different and we could call it let's say Dan's in this case we could say Dan's courses right so we change the SSID so that's first thing we could do to help secure the wireless router just a little and then also right now this SSID is being broadcast to anybody in the neighborhood they can see the name of the wireless network if we want a little more privacy and a little more security we can turn broadcasting off and so we might want to do that right and then the next thing is security what do we want to do for security do we want to use WEP now WEP is um, pretty easy to crack if you're an experienced um, hacker or you have um, a little experience doing that web encryption is actually easily broken and can be broken very quickly so maybe we want to do something a little bit better so then we could move up to let's say WPA or WPA2 right so what we'll do is we'll try to set it to WPA2 which is a stronger form of security encryption right and we're gonna need to give it a key a pass key and for the pass key we'll say pass key will be uh, Dan's and then we'll say uh, 2456 okay so Dan's 2456 and then maybe we'll say Z1 so Dan's 2456 Z1 and then once we've done that we also want to change the admin password from admin right now the password to connect and manage this wireless router is just username admin password admin so we'll change the password to let's say Cisco which is not secure but you know just for this lesson that's fine so that's what we're gonna do now so we'll go back into the wireless router and we're gonna change those settings okay I'm here with the wireless router and the other thing that's gonna happen is when we change the SSID from default to Dan's courses we're gonna have to reconnect to this wireless network to manage the wireless router now why is that well right now the SSID is default and it's being broadcast to us and when we turn off broadcasting and change the SSID to Dan's courses we're gonna be disconnected once again from the wireless router so you'll see what I mean so we're gonna go to wireless and you can see network mode right now it's mixed right we could say we only want wireless G or wireless B or wireless N or mixed mode in which anybody let's say 802.11 G B or N can connect to this wireless router there's the SSID the service set identifier which is set to default and we're going to change it to Dan's courses right and as soon as we do that right we're going to be disconnected because we're also going to turn off the SSID broadcast so we're going to disable that so we'll hit save settings and those settings are going to be saved and then you're going to see here in a second that we're disconnected so we'll hit there we go request timeout we hit enter enter go no luck right we can't get in okay well if that's the case then what we need to do is we need to now configure our client right our computer here so that it can once again associate notice the lines connecting to the wireless router are gone we're no longer associated with this wireless router because we don't have the service set identifier the SSID right so we're gonna open up our wireless utility there's our Linksys and it says no association so it's not working and we get connect and we don't even see since it's not broadcasting we can't see any wireless networks available right here right there's no wireless networks to connect to well actually it's there it's just not broadcasting the SSID so it's not showing up here so what we need to do is create a manual profile for our wireless network so what we'll do is we go to profiles and we'll hit new and we'll say the name for the new profile and we'll say Dan's courses We'll say okay 
and then available wire wireless networks none there for this profile we need advanced setup so we'll click on advanced setup and it says is this going to be an infrastructure mode or are you going to be connecting to an access point or a wireless router or is this ad hoc mode meaning client to client connection um, this is not a client to client connection we're connecting to a wireless router so we leave it there and then this is where the wireless network name or SSID goes so we'll put in here Dan's courses we'll hit next and then obtain network settings automatically DHCP we know that our wireless router is handing out DHCP IP addresses so we'll take that we're not going to manually specify we'll hit next and then security right now is disabled on the wireless router we are going to enable it eventually but it's not been enabled yet so we'll just leave the security mode in disabled and we'll hit next and save and congratulations your profile has been successfully configured right so what we want to do now is we let's uh, we can either connect to the network or return to profile screen we'll return to our profile screen there's our profile we'll highlight it and we'll hit connect